Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Singularity Vault channel. Today we will take a look at a comprehensive comparison of two military powerhouses, the BAE Bradley and the BAE Haglund's CV-90. In today's video, we delve into the capabilities of these infantry fighting vehicles, exploring their strengths and roles in the ongoing Ukrainian war against Russia. The conflict has presented a dynamic battlefield, and understanding the nuances of these vehicles is crucial. Let's jump right in and dissect the BAE Bradley in the first half, and stick around for the BAE Haglund's CV-90 in the second half of this video. Join us on this journey of exploration and analysis, and remember to like and subscribe if you like this video. As the war in Ukraine rages on, the BAE Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle stands as a pivotal player in the front line. This American-made war machine is no stranger to conflict, having seen action in various parts of the world, but in the Ukrainian battlefield, its role has never been more crucial. The Bradley's presence in Ukraine is a testament to its resilience and versatility. Facing off against Russian BMP T-72 and T-90, it's not just about firepower. It's a game of tactics, mobility and protection. And the Bradley, well, it's up for the challenge. Let's talk firepower. The Bradley packs a punch with its 25mm autocannon and tow missiles. The autocannon, capable of firing at a rate of 200 rounds per minute, is the Bradley's primary weapon against infantry and lightly armored vehicles. The tow missiles, on the other hand, are the ace up its sleeve, designed to take down heavily armored tanks and fortifications from a safe distance. But firepower is just one side of the coin. The Bradley's armor is designed to withstand a beating. With steel and aluminum alloy plating, it can shrug off rounds from most infantry weapons. And in the event of a missile attack, its reactive armor can absorb and deflect the impact, keeping the crew safe inside. Mobility, too, is a key part of the Bradley's arsenal. With a top speed of 65 miles per hour on road and the ability to traverse rough terrain, the Bradley can quickly get to where it's needed most, be it rushing to the front line or maneuvering for a strategic advantage. In the ongoing Ukrainian conflict, the Bradley's role is more than just a fighting vehicle. It's a symbol of resilience and adaptability, a testament to the importance of balancing firepower, protection, and mobility in the heat of battle. The Bradley, a stalwart in the face of adversity, continues to hold its ground against the imposing Russian forces. Bradley crews employ a range of tactics to maximize their effectiveness on the battlefield. These tactics, honed through rigorous training, are adapted to the diverse terrains of Ukraine, from the dense forests of the Carpathians to the open plains of the steppe. One such tactic is the bounding overwatch, where one Bradley advances while another observes from a stationary position, ready to provide covering fire if required. This staggered movement, like a dance choreographed for survival, ensures that at least one vehicle is always providing cover for the other. In urban environments, the Bradley's compact size compared to main battle tanks allows it to navigate narrow streets with relative ease. The crews employ a tactic known as corner peeking, where the vehicle exposes only a minimal portion of itself around corners to engage targets, thus minimizing its vulnerability. The Bradley's 25mm autocannon is a versatile weapon. It can fire a rapid burst to suppress enemy infantry or a single precisely aimed shot to eliminate specific threats. The autocannon's high-velocity shells are effective against lightly armored targets, while the wire-guided tow missiles take care of heavier threats, including Russian BMPs, T-72, and T-90. Now you might be thinking, can the Bradley actually take on a T-90? And the answer is yes, but with a caveat. The Bradley's tow missiles can penetrate the T-90's armor, but the Bradley must get the first shot. If a T-90 spots a Bradley first, the outcome is less favorable. It's a game of cat and mouse, where patience, positioning, and the element of surprise often determine the victor. The Bradley's tactical prowess is not just about its firepower or armor. It's about the crew inside, their training, their adaptability, and their ability to make split-second decisions under intense pressure. It's about understanding the strengths and weaknesses of their vehicle and using them to their advantage. The Bradley's tactical prowess and effectiveness against enemy units make it a formidable force in the ongoing conflict. Its legacy, built on decades of refinement and battlefield experience, continues to be written in the sands, forests, and cities of Ukraine. 
While the Bradley continues its fight, a new force has entered the battlefield, the BAE Haglund's CV-90. Born in the cold of Sweden, this infantry fighting vehicle is a testament to Scandinavian engineering prowess. Its story begins in the late 80s, conceived as a versatile platform for the ever-changing demands of modern warfare. 50 CV-90s have already been deployed to Ukraine from the Swedish army. Now, as the Ukrainian conflict intensifies, new deliveries of these formidable machines are set to roll out from Sweden and Denmark. As announced by the two countries in December of 2023, Denmark will send from their military stock, and Sweden will send newly produced latest models directly from the assembly lines. These countries, well aware of the harsh realities of war, are promising to bolster Ukraine's defenses with the CV-90. This vehicle is not just another fighting machine, it embodies a new approach to battlefield mobility and firepower, combining lethal force with unparalleled adaptability. The CV-90, with its impressive capabilities, is bringing a new dynamic to the Ukrainian battlefield. The CV-90 packs a punch with its 40mm autocannon and boasts an evolution that has kept it at the forefront of infantry fighting vehicles. The firepower of the CV-90 is truly a force to be reckoned with. Its 40mm autocannon can unleash a hailstorm of projectiles, tearing through enemy armor with ruthless efficiency. This devastating weapon is complemented by its anti-tank capabilities, making the CV-90 a formidable adversary for any armored opponent. But the CV-90 is not just about raw firepower. It's also a story of continuous evolution and improvement. From its first iteration, the CV-90 has undergone numerous upgrades and modifications, enhancing its firepower, protection, and mobility. The result is a vehicle that has not only kept pace with the changing demands of modern warfare, but has often been a step ahead, setting new standards for what an infantry fighting vehicle can be. A key aspect of this evolution is the CV-90's adaptability, underpinned by its modular design. This design allows for a high degree of customization, including modular armor, enabling it to be tailored to the specific requirements of different missions and environments. Whether it's conducting reconnaissance in dense forests, engaging enemy forces in urban warfare, or providing fire support in open terrain, the CV-90 can be configured to excel. This adaptability extends beyond its physical design to its operational capabilities. The CV-90 can seamlessly integrate with other units on the battlefield, enhancing coordination and situational awareness. It can adapt to the evolving dynamics of a battle, switching roles and tactics as needed. This level of flexibility makes the CV-90 not just a vehicle, but a versatile tool in the hands of its crew. In conclusion, the CV-90 combines devastating firepower with a level of adaptability that sets it apart from its peers. It's not just about having the biggest gun or the thickest armor. It's about being able to adapt, evolve, and overcome. With its adaptability and formidable firepower, the CV-90 is a game-changer set to redefine the battlefield. As new CV-90 prepares for deployment, the anticipation of its impact and the tactics it will employ stirs curiosity. With its adaptable modular design and potent firepower, the CV-90 brings a new dynamic to the battlefield. Its crews leverages the vehicle's versatility to confront varying situations, making it a formidable force. Remember the Bradley, with its proven track record in Ukraine, its 25mm autocannon and tow missiles providing a reliable counter to Russian BMPs T-72S and T-90S. Its role remains crucial. Now consider the CV-90, a fresh contender with its 40mm autocannon and robust anti-tank capabilities in its Acheron anti-tank missiles. Its adaptability and evolution of firepower offer promise in the face of conflict. As we look forward to the increased deployment of CV-90S, we can only speculate on the impact it will have on the Ukrainian military capabilities. What infantry combat vehicle do you think will perform the best on the battlefield of Ukraine? Share your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more.